This isn't looking good at all. What was supposed to be an easy day hike is quickly turning into a life-threatening situation. One of your top priorities is to get a fire going before nightfall, but all you've got with you is a bag lunch and an empty water bottle. This is a challenge that's gonna require a little creativity. You're gonna have to light this fire with your pee. For this project, you're going to need some of that special yellow liquid, and the timing is great because with all that water you drank, nature is calling. You can use a container like your water bottle to collect as much as possible. Now that's really not a lot, and it looks like you're still a little dehydrated, but you're going to have to make it work. When you flip the bottle over and attempt the water bottle trick from a previous video, it doesn't seem to be working, and that's because you don't have enough fluid in your bottle. You try removing the label to see if that helps, but it's not making much of a difference. Okay, time to check your lunch bag to see what other resources you have. There's a bag of celery sticks, and that could be useful. But here's something even better. You wrapped your apple with a plastic wrap. Perfect. Carefully remove the wrapper, making sure not to rip it, and now you're going to need some rocks. When you place these rocks in a circle, they formed a crude concave mold. The rocks help form the wrapper into a bowl shape, and now you can add the liquid. When it's filled to the edges, grab all the sides and hold them together at the top, making this into a little liquid pouch. Twisting this pouch while holding it at the top helps remove any air and seals the liquid inside. When you twist the excess plastic around your middle finger like a ring, then wrap it around the base to hold it in place, the pressure can be adjusted, and you've got yourself a great little liquid lens that's easy to use. It's magnifying very well, so time to test it out on some Tinder. One of the unneeded pages from your map should work perfectly, so focus the sunlight on the darkest ink you can find because this will absorb the heat. It's incredible how quickly this starts smoking and where there's smoke, there's a hope of fire. A hole is burning in the paper now, and when it's about the size of a quarter, it's pretty well self-sustaining. Without wasting any time, try adding layers of dry grass and blowing gently to add some air. It's getting hot and smoking quite a bit, so just blow a little stronger, and success, you've got a flame. Now get that to a place you can build your fire up, and it's finished. You just lit a fire with your pee. Well, there's a little trick most people will never have to use, but might be good to know just in case. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. <laughs>